Hello there. I'm Tommy's dad. You've seen some of his videos uh, on YouTube here. I'm the old goat. <laughs> Anyhow, um, here I've got a, a pilot. I believe it's a 1949. TV 37 is the model number. It's a 3 inch uh, picture tube. I completely restored this set. The picture tube is extremely weak as most of these sets are. They're virtually impossible to get a hold of a 3KP4. I happen to have an old 3KP4 here that a friend of mine had given me so I can test it for him. I have, and I'm going to bring it up on the bench very shortly here, a CRT tester which I bought on eBay several years back. It's called a Raytronics model number CB54. And it's a cathode beamer. It's a huge thing, and I'm going to bring it up on the bench. I'm going to show you how I adapted that to test this tube. So if you hang on just a second, I'll go get the CB54. Okay, this is a Raytronics cathode ray beamer. It's a humongous piece of equipment. I normally don't keep it up on the bench. I usually keep it off to the side. And it gives you all the uh, indications here right on the uh, meter as to the uh, whether the picture tube is dim or bright. You have your cutoff grid voltage. You have your different settings for leakage and so forth. You can weld the cathode cathode boost, filament boost, just about anything you can think of. This piece of equipment here is quite elaborate and I'm sure in its day was quite something. Originally when I got this at, on eBay uh, it only had this one socket on it and it was hardwired in the back of the unit. Turn it around here and show you what I did in the back. Right here I installed porcelain socket, made a uh, adapter. This is the 3KP4 adapter. This came from an old oscilloscope that I got in the ham auction and it has the necessary 11 pins so that I can plug in the 3KP4 and I have it labeled 3KP4 although the tag is coming off here and I gotta repair this. While I was at it I made another adapter so I can test a 7JP4 using this adapter and a plug so it just goes into the back of the 3KP4 I mean into the into the Raytronics this was not here I had to take a Greenlee chassis punch and make the hole and mount this socket it also contains the second anode voltage so that's why it's a porcelain socket so the second anode voltage comes out of here for the 3KP4 and the 7JP4. This normally would be your second anode wire. This is where you'd put your uh, anode clip on to like a 10BP4 or something like that. And this is hardwired in here. But in addition to that, I've got it going into this socket here. So I have a, a high potential on here. I read done everything in this unit. I also replaced the uh, oil fill capacitor which I could have contained PCBs we don't know I've done that years ago and replaced it with a microwave capacitor for my high voltage supply. I went over it we checked any tubes that need replacement, placed all capacitors and resistors and all that happy stuff. I will now commence to hook up the 3KP4 to this Raytronics and test it. We're ready to turn her on. It's been a while since I used this thing. Okay, I have the um, 3KP4 plugged in. The filament is lit. As you can probably see down there. Now this has a filament test button here. We know the filament's good. This will light indicating that the filament is good. Now we're also getting an emission reading here 
indicating that it's um, weak but usable but we're running I got my check mark here for the 3kp4 but we're not we're not getting any control here any control on the on the voltage the grid control has zero effect on it which means that the uh, grid on this 3kp4 is open where it was set up on emissions uh, we're gonna check for shorts by rotating this and the short indicators up here we're not getting any shorts from the heater, the heat of the cathode, the heat of the grid cathode the grid I should say or the anode so we're not getting any shorts but the emission the switch is a little uh, flaky here it's been a while since I used this probably contact cleaner will take care of that but the grid has absolutely no control so this tube has no grid uh, function so we cannot um, we can't cut off the tube so the cut off voltage no matter what you apply to it isn't going to make any difference so basically I kind of suspected this tube wasn't any good but basically I just wanted to show you that you can test a 3kp4 I just have the pins set up um, the same as a 10bp4 and just wired the connector accordingly here and using the second anode directly in here because a 10 BP4 would have the button up here and they use that clip lead I showed you earlier but we're running the second anode voltage direct into into the uh, basing here anyways just like a 3 KP4 would do uh, I'll just show you briefly on the schematic what I had done not exactly a good uh, video here but uh, what I my little notation down here um, primarily I made the changes uh, in here because as I said this was all hardwired and I added that socket in the back so this is a blown up schematic um, when I was still working I used the Xerox machine and enlarged it uh, 140 percent so that I'm able to read the thing because the original schematic was in this little book here and um, it's kind of useless for my bad eyesight so anyways uh, I, that's um, about it um, if you have one of these, these are, these are fantastic uh, pieces of equipment, but you have to be careful. It uses 2,500 volts on the second anode, uh, and also it uh, produces a tremendous blast current, uh, and you can blow open your grids if you're not careful. So it's a brutal piece of equipment, but uh, the way I look at it, if the tube is gone anyways, you haven't got much to lose. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have a good 3KP4, so I got a restored uh, Pilot TV37 that um, maybe someday I can uh, do something with it. I haven't even located a uh, 3KP1, which is a green phosphor uh, oscilloscope tube. Well, that's that's about it. Uh, this is my Rube Goldberg uh, workshop here <laughs> um, that I've had for quite a few years. And it's in the located in the attic of my brother's house. I used to live here, but uh, I moved into a mobile home, so I still maintain a workshop up here. So uh, this is the old goat uh, saying, um, "Hope you enjoyed uh, the video, and I would be looking forward to uh, maybe doing another one for you uh, someday soon." Thank you very much. Have a good day.